All-Star Game Most Valuable Player. In recognition of this classic moment, the LeVere donates $1,000 to the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. Well, Scotty not able to get into it uh, today. Had that 33-point uh, game in the last meeting in New York. Going 11 of 19 from the field at 18 of his 33 in the first quarter. Today he's done it in the assist column with 10, but uh, not shooting well. Ward for three. But Williams able to get to the rebound. Houston is fouled. Allen Houston sandwiched between two bulls. And the foul on Bushler. Well, as we mentioned, Atlanta over Philadelphia, 136-104, led by that terrific backcourt, Steve Smith and Mookie Blaylock. Miami finishes with 61 wins. What a season for Pat Riley and the Miami Heat. Denver in front of Dallas in the fourth quarter. Two teams just playing out the schedule. Utah in the third. Minnesota, 59-53. Utah beats Minnesota. Houston almost certainly would get the Phoenix Suns in the opening round. Seattle with a 25-7 lead on the uh, L.A. Clippers. And again, a whistle. Foul called on Ward. That is his second. If the Knicks can come from behind and beat the Bulls here tonight, they would clinch third seed. If they lose, it would come down to what Atlanta does against New Jersey tomorrow. Jordan trying to shake off Starks. Charlie got the roll. 28 for Michael Jordan. Charging foul. Jordan with a pretty pass for Brian Williams. Not able to hit. Breaks up the pass intended for Ewing and deflected out by the Bulls. Even though Brian Williams missed that last layup, it was a good hard cut, good move, good catch, just unable to finish the play. But more and more, Brian Williams is getting comfortable with the triangle offense and the familiarity of his teammates. Pulled by Ewing, going to the drop step. He has 21. Bulls 85, the Knicks 78. But that kind of defense will not win him a lot of playing time for Phil Jackson getting on such an easy one. The steal by Starks, setting it up to Houston. Michael Jordan turning it over, looking to throw a blind pass, and it was picked off. So the Knicks are within five. And Brown had it poked away. Knicks going now with Ewing. And Williams as the big man. And Jeff Van Gundy staying with the three guards, Starks, Houston, and Ward. And Starks defending against Jordan. Bushler. There's one of a traveling violation. Houston putting moves on Kerr and through the foul. Allen Houston will go to the line. Well, Patrick Ewing has the mismatch inside against Brian Williams, and every time he gets good post position, he'll be either able to get a good scoring chance or draw a double team and find an open player. But that time, he gave up the opportunity for Allen Houston to go one-on-one, -on -one, use his height advantage against Steve Kerr. And anytime Steve Kerr is guarding a big guard who has some post-up capabilities, they're going to get that opportunity inside. Next 16 of 21 from the foul line. 85-82. The Bulls lead us come to three. The three previous games between the Knicks and the Bulls. All close. A one-pointer, a four-pointer, and a two-pointer. Bulls winning two of the three. And a foul. Offensive foul on Jordan. That is his fourth. Now Michael about to complain there, but that was all set up by the aggressive pressure by John Starks, who, as we said earlier, normally does not get much playing time defensively against Michael. Here, swatting at the ball, keeping after him, and taking that ever so slight little uh, right forearm shiver 
and getting the foul, the fourth on Michael. And a blocking foul on Brown. Well, Randy Brown already picked up one charge against Charlie Ward, did not get it the second time as his feet were moving. Fourth team foul on the Bulls is foul. Buck Williams reacting very well to the double team, finding Charlie Ward. And a technical foul has been called on Brian Williams. Well, Brian Williams was frustrated at the call, not, not agreeing with it, and then foolishly bouncing the ball only went about six or seven feet over his head. Kind of, I think that all that action before, but then you could see he did not really slam the ball hard down. But I think what the, the baseline official Ed Rush saw was the, the first initial reaction of Brian Williams, which was disgust and felt that he did throw the ball down hard from his vantage point. The Knicks are down by only one. They've come from 14 back. They have the lead briefly. They're up 25 to 24 in the first half. The game is tied at 85. Seven minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Brian Williams going at Patrick Ewing. Tough move by Williams to get the Bulls at 87, 85 lead. But once again, the Knicks have played the Bulls very tough. Here's Ward for Ewing. Yes. And again, the game tied at 87. Now the Knicks are too good a defensive team to give up the numbers that they did in the first half. 58 points, 53% from the field. The Knicks know they're capable of playing better at the defensive end.